Let's have a look at properties of map projections, and in particular, distance and direction. Let's start with a fairly straightforward map projection. This is an equidistant projection known as the Platte Carré, it's French. And uh, the kind of distinctive factor or, or thing about this projection is that you'll notice that we have squares that are created by the graticule. So all of these are squares, no matter where you are on the map, they're all squares of the same size, okay? So you might think, well, that must be a good thing then, because that means maybe there's not as much distortion. Well, there is and there isn't, it depends. Like any map projection, there's going to be distortion. If we look at the standard line, it's touching the developable surface at the equator, so that's where we have a scale factor of one. We also have a scale factor of one along each of the meridians. And that's because these meridians are the same distance on the map as they are on the reference globe. So there's no distortion taking place along those lines. So if you see here, you'll see that there's a, a meridian here. They're all the same length on the reference globe, and they're all the same length on our projected version. So that gives us an indication about what's happening with distortion, at least in that vertical dimension. However, when we look at distortion in an east-west direction, because these lines are not converging at the poles the way they're supposed to on the reference globe, they're being stretched out, and so that indicates to us that the scale factor has to be greater than one. So we're not maintaining our distances correctly on this map. Another way of looking at this is that if you had a line of latitude, say somewhere around here, or actually let's do one down here since we're at the, it's easier to draw on the south pole or towards the south pole here, is that this line is shorter than the equator, right? But on this map, here's the equator. Let's say that's the same line uh, here that we have up here. Okay, so now these lines, this line is the same distance, same length, sorry, as that line. So from here to here, that's now the same distance as the equator. That's another way of just kind of visualizing the fact that that line has been stretched out. All of the lines of latitude, which gets shorter and shorter as you go towards the poles, have all been stretched out so that they're all the same length. So that gives us a good indication that something's not quite right here, at least in terms of distortion. What we can see in terms of things like distance is that the distances are correct. In other words, if I measure a distance on this map, it's correct where the scale factor equals one. So there, with, what happens a lot with projections is that you can measure distances or directions correctly, but only in certain situations, only under certain conditions, only in certain parts of the map. And that's what's happening here, is that we have a situation where the scale factor is one along the standard line. So if you want to measure something along the equator, that distance will be correct. The scale factor equals one along each of the meridians. So if you measure a distance along any of the meridians, that distance will be correct. But because we're having this scale factor greater than one in the horizontal direction, any other line that you draw on that map is going to have distortion in the east-west direction. And so the distances will not be correct for anything that's not on the standard line or is not on a meridian. In other words, where the scale factor is not one. So part of what I'm doing here is trying to tie together this idea of you know, how distortion is taking place, how we measure scale factor, and how we can relate that to measuring distances. This is another equidistant projection. So in other words, distances can be measured accurately, but only in certain circumstances or in certain conditions. Here, this is a planar azimuthal projection, and it's planar because if you think of the sheet of paper as a plane that's touching the globe at the North Pole, that's one reason why, uh, that's why it gets that name, is it's planar. And in this case, so here's where it's touching. This is the standard point in this case. And any of the, the lines that are meridians that are radiating out from here are all the same length, and they all have a scale factor of one. So if you measure a distance in any direction from the North Pole, then the scale factor equals one, and those distances will be correct. But if you try to measure a distance along here, you'll see that these circles, the, the indicatrices, have been stretched, and that tells us that the scale factor is greater than one in that direction, and we can't measure distances in any direction other than along those meridians. What's interesting is that this line is also, uh, also has a scale factor of one, and both of these purple lines point north-south. 
huh, really? Yeah, if you take a look at it, remember, these are lines along meridians. Meridians run north-south. So all of these lines run north-south, all of them. I know it's a little crazy at first if you haven't seen something like this before, but that's what's actually happening. So this is just to show that the scale factor is greater than one, again, because you can see these circles have been distorted. We're getting distortion in the east-west direction. So now we're getting distortion this way. So what that means in the context of what we're talking about here is that even though this is an equidistant projection, it's only equidistant in certain situations. Equidistant meaning that the distances are correct. So if you measured a distance from here to here, that will not be correct because of the distortion taking place along that, that dimension, the scale factor being greater than 1.